What it do, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one, the only, Ash Said It. Ash Said It.com, Ash Said It.com. Welcome to the Ash Said It daily podcast show. I appreciate you guys for all of your love and support. Over 1,500, nearly 1,600 episodes, and half a million streams worldwide. None of that would be possible without you guys. So I thank you so, so very much. And yes, we are still making things do what it do. We're trying to have a good outlook on everything, good positive energy. So today, I've got the co-founder of The Caviar Company, the wonderful Petra. Hey, Petra. (laughs) Hi. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm so happy to be here. This is is really exciting. It's a beautiful day, and... um, like you said, I think we're going to have a good time. Yeah, absolutely. So, Paige, to start things off, what part of the country are you holding down right now? Right now, I am in San Francisco. Ooh, beautiful San Francisco weather. Oh, I can dream about that one day, Petra. You know, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, so <laughs> today it's around 45 degrees. I'm like, mm, not loving it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We're not used to that cold weather anymore. Oh, um, goodness. We get now looking outside, blue sky, sunshine, and yeah, uh, it's a beautiful winter day. Beautiful. Wow. That, uh, that That's my kind of winter. Uh, I wish that was a case yeah. here, but that's my kind. All right. Uh, so, Pedro, what brought about the idea to start this company? So um, my sister and I started this company together, and we had both been involved in the caviar industry prior to starting our own company. Um, Mm. There was kind of a long list of events that that took place that kind of led to where we are now and led to us starting our company. Um, We both grew up in, obviously, sisters, we grew up um, in the same town, Lubbock, Texas. Mm. And um, we we moved out here together, and, you know, my first job was working in the caviar industry. She is a CPA, so she mm. she started doing some um, accounting and wealth management as well, and then we ended up pull, suckering her into um, <laughs> getting involved with us. And um, so I was there for a few years, and then I went to go work for a farm because I kind of have a... Uh, medical background with audiology. I thought I was going to be, you know, selling hearing aids. I love the way to learn about how things work and why why things work and how they are the way they are. And um, so I went to go work for a farm just out of Sacramento. And in the meantime, while I was working for this farm, I was mainly doing marketing for them. So I was able to kind of work from home or anywhere in the world. And um, I was traveling around the world with my husband for his job uh, and working at the same time. And then when I came back, I really needed something more full-time and to, to dive into something 100%. So my sister and I decided to start our own company to where now we actually still work with that farm and still bring in those, those, that specific product of um, caviar. Ooh. But we also wanted to diversify Um something we're really passionate about is showing the different qualities of the different species of caviar and the different price ranges. Mm-hmm. And and so that was a big thing with our company is bringing in a ton of different products. So like our pricing ranges from, from $10 an ounce all the way up to $165 an ounce. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and to be able to cross compare and do taste tests and, and see how the the best the most expensive caviar isn't necessarily the best right. and we also love to really um put to bed those those ideas that you know only russian caviar is the best or again if it's expensive it's the best and mm. and that's what we've been working on okay cool what would you say in the beginning stages as you guys were forming this company was one of the biggest hurdles uh that you guys faced um, you know, I a big. I think the biggest one would all, would be um, money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. which I'm sure is what a lot of people say. But yeah. um, you know, my sister and I are, are really proud to say that we we started this company with our savings, without investors, without 
um, a lot of capital, and we've bootstrapped it the whole way. Like, up to this point, we still have no investors, no outside sources of income or or outside sources of capital. We have, um, you know, we've only expanded as we're able to pay for it. We've Mm -hmm. saved our money. We um, have really done it from grassroots, and, and I think that's something we're really proud of. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, kudos to you guys on that because a lot of people, you know, we see people that, you know, go on these shows on television and they're looking to get backed and things of that nature. So kudos to you guys for doing that, making things happen. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was definitely scary and stressful at times, but it, it's so far we're feeling we're feeling really proud of that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I would, I would absolutely be su- surprised if you said, "Oh no, we just went into it. Everything was wonderful and great," and we weren't surprised. And we yeah. weren't. Sur- oh, I'm sure you were petrified because it's like you know you're putting yourself yeah. out there, but you believed in your product. So that that's I think yeah, makes absolutely. the bigger the bigger difference in it is um, going into it with the full belief and having faith in yourself. So I think that, that makes a lot um, a lot bigger of a difference. Definitely a bigger difference. Yeah, absolutely. So let's talk about the different offerings. What are some of the different, um, I guess, kinds of caviar that you guys carry? Yeah, so we carry both caviar and roe. And um, just some background on that. We say, so not all roe is caviar. Technically, in order to be considered caviar, it has to come from the sturgeon fish. So we have, the majority of our offerings are caviar coming from sturgeon fish. But we also have other roe or fish egg options like um smoked trout roe which is really amazing it's been cold smoked with apple and cherry wood chips and mm. um so it almost tastes like bacony and we you know we always talk about putting it on eggs or on top of deviled eggs or really to jazz up any appetizer that you're serving right. um and it's a great price point it goes for like 15 dollars per ounce and mm. you can get an ounce will re- we say an ounce is good for like twenty four deviled eggs for you know for a visual <laughs> yeah. there, um, so that's a bestseller for us. We go through pounds and pounds of that. So then we have a range for our caviar. It ranges from uh, we have two of the last wild caviars available. Um, everything else, everything really needs to be farmed these days, except mm-hmm. for these two species of sturgeon that we have coming from around the the Tennessee River. Um, And then we have our local product, which is our California white sturgeon, which is the farm that I I worked for. And that, you know, this is like a top seller to really creamy, buttery, Mm. um, easy, mild caviar. We really feel like caviar should never be too fishy or too salty. And, um, and that's what we try to, to really find in our product. Right. And then we have an imported uh, selection. So four different imported caviars from all around the world, from Israel. We bring in a small amount of product from China. We bring it in from Poland, Italy, um, and sometimes uh, Uruguay. So, okay. And there are a few other sources that we're talking to at the moment. Yeah, okay. Oh, cool. So, and please, please educate me because I know very little about caviar. I've had it a couple of times at restaurants. I've had it for, you know, appetizer type setups. But how, how long does caviar typically stay fresh, I guess you could say? Or how long does it last? Yeah. So our caviar, one thing that we say is that caviar should always have a shelf life. So mm. um, we actually will refuse to work with some large grocery chains because Mm -hmm. because they want a longer shelf life and they want us to pasteurize our products but we really don't we feel like the only kind of preservatives that should ever go into caviar is salt you know that's the natural way that it's been cured and um so for us our caviar the shelf life is four to six weeks unopened Mm -hmm. and then once you open it you want to eat it within three to four days Mm -hmm. but if you do buy pasteurized products it can be good for months and we always mm. say that's kind of a red flag. Um, yeah. When you're buying caviar, if it has a really long shelf life, then there's something else um, either in that caviar or done to that caviar. Um, and and pasteurizing caviar is not bad. It just changes the experience. Like whenever you're tasting caviar, you know, it's a decadent food, right? It's yeah. rich and oily and yeah. silky. And <laughs> um, when you pasteurize it, you kind of, 
suck a little bit of that life out of it. It kind of, those oils dry up a little bit, and you don't get the full um, experience of the caviar. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, Petra, a little birdie told me that you guys have a new location coming, so tell us all about that. Yes, um, we are so excited. This has been, we've wanted to open up a second location for a few years now. We've been saving and looking for spaces, and and we finally found the right space. It's in downtown Tiburon, which is right across the Golden Gate Bridge, um, or a ferry ferry away from San Francisco. And this will be a a caviar and champagne tasting room where Mm. there'll be a lot of um, bubble options and you'll get to taste our caviars with a few different methods of serving it, whether it's just on your traditional blini or creme fraiche, whether it's on maybe Pringles or potato chips or Mm. Ritz crackers. You know, this is where we're really going to play with the product and also play with the champagne and bringing in you know, we'll do some cool options with some local sparkling, but then we'll also bring in some some big guys like Krug, mm-hmm. do a Krug by the Glass program, yeah. and then also some great beer cards or some grower champagnes. And mm-hmm. um, one of the things I'm most excited about is that it's going to have a champagne vending machine. So mm-hmm. it'll um, it's mm-hmm. a huge vending machine that's been customized with our branding on it, and it it sells those little splits of the Moet, whether it's uh, the Brut Blanc Blanc or the Mm Rosé. And so you just put a little token in, push your number, and this machine, you know, comes and grabs your champagne, and it goes out through the, it gets delivered to you, you know, through the little compartment and the door that opens up, and then you put the zipper on top, so it's like a little funnel. Oh, and then wow. you drink directly from the bottle. Oh, so no glasses. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazing. I want to come visit just for the vending machine. <laughs> you have to okay. look on our, um, you check out our, our Instagram has a video of it working and it is so much fun. Oh, I mean, I gotta uh, check it out. But you have to come for more than just a machine. Yeah, yeah, okay. Our, you our, up on our, caviar yeah. and, <laughs> and other bubbles. And we would love for you to come out and see us. Yes, that is definitely on my list is, you know, we're getting things back to hopefully traveling regularly again. Yes, you guys are absolutely on the list of places that I need to go. So we're, we're putting that out into yes, the universe. Definitely. <laughs> now, Petra, <laughs> it's, been, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show today. Um, let everyone know the best way to get more information about you guys and, of course, to follow you across social media. Yeah, of course. So um, we are, our Instagram handle is where we're, we're the most active, I would say, and we're, it's just at the Caviar Co. Um, and then our website is also the caviarco.com, and that's where you can see our offerings, um, and pricing, and we're going to probably doing something great for Valentine's Day uh, coming up because a lot of people will probably be celebrating at home or in more intimate settings as opposed to going out to eat like they usually do. So we want to be ready for that and offer something special for um, to spread some love around Valentine's Day. So yeah, please come check out our Instagram or our website, um, and we we'd love to answer any caviar questions that you might have. Absolutely. Well, Petra, more success to you, your sister, the whole team, everyone that's been, you know, helping your vision to come to life. I know that you guys are going to have way more announcements and all kind of great things going on throughout the year. So definitely keep me in the loop. And I would definitely love to have you back on the program to talk about those new announcements. So we'll oh well thank that. you so much. I I really appreciate you having us and and this was really fun. I'm so excited. I'm so happy that we did this. Yes, thank you so much. And thank you to each and every one of you guys. Thank you for your love, your support. It makes a huge difference. Keep in mind anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. You look them square in the face, you tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do, watch me make it happen, watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.